Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Smoking Jacket Magazine. I'm Stefan Moroni, contributor to the Smoking Jacket, and today we have another pipe tobacco review. We're going to be taking a look at the McBaron's Cherry Ambrosia. So, let's open up the container here and get a little whiff. Right off the bat, you have that cherry smell, not almost like a dark cherry, not sweet cherry, but a stronger, bolder cherry flavor. I'm also getting a little bit, a little bit of an earthy smell almost, but that's really all I can get from the smell. So hopefully that translates over and hopefully it'll come with some other flavors as well. So let's get this big boy all packed up. Okay, so we're back. I've got it tamped and lit up. Right off the bat, I get a hint of the cherry flavor. Not a lot, not very much body. The flavor doesn't last very long. You do have a little bit of a cherry aftertaste on your tongue and on the back of your throat, but it tends to fade. It's not there consistently. Overall, pretty good flavor. I'm not getting anything other than the hint of cherry right now. It's very static, I guess I would use that word to describe it, because it's strictly just the hint of cherry right now. So I'm going to keep going, and I'll keep you updated as I get through the bowl and let you know if anything else comes up. Okay, and we're back. I'm about a third of the way through the bowl right now. Flavor hasn't really changed much aside from a little bit more body and a slight increase in the cherry flavor. Other than that, it's still pretty much the same. A little bit earthy, not too strong. The taste doesn't really last too long in your mouth. It's there for a couple seconds and then it fades right away. So it's good to keep puffing on it and keep, in, keep inhaling that smoke. But yeah, other than that, it's very sweet, and that's it, no other changes so far. I'm liking what I'm tasting right now though, so I can't complain. I'll keep you updated as I continue through. Okay, and we're back. I'm a little more than halfway through the bowl right now. The flavor has not really changed much. Uh, it's still a hint of cherry. I'm getting quite a bit of cherry on the draw, not so much in the smoke itself mostly just on the draw. Occasionally in the smoke, I get a, a burst of cherry, but it doesn't last very long at all. It fades very quickly. Um, there's no other real flavor to it, but the body has increased a little more. Um, not too much spice and no other real flavors at present. It is just that hint of dark cherry and it is a little bit sweet. I don't think there's going to be any other changes considering I am halfway through the bowl. So in terms of my concluding thoughts, this is a pretty good one, probably some of the better pipe tobacco that I've had so far, but personally I tend to prefer the cased tobacco rather than the uncased, and I do prefer flavored. I think it's good whether you, it's good for any purpose. Whether you just want to relax and have some tobacco, or you want to just smoke it with some friends, or smoke it, sit down and smoke it seriously, I personally think it's fine for any occasion. That's just my thoughts. So, once again, I'm Stefan Morona, contributor to the Smoking Jack Magazine, and remember, smoke them if you got them. I hope you enjoyed this video. To see more great content like this, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. Of course, remember to subscribe to keep up to date with the Leather Library's newest videos. Also, please make sure you visit the Leather Library blog for more in-depth articles on philosophy, literature, and the finer things in life. As always, keep on reading.